want you just to begin with, just look down at your feet and make sure that they're facing forward, yeah? So think tracking, so think the second and third toe in line with the knees. The knees coming up so they're in line with the pelvis and the hip bones. So the pelvis just lies just underneath the hips. So I want you just to place your hands onto those bones and make sure they're symmetrical. So you're not pushing your weight more onto your right or onto your left, yeah? So it's kind of find your positioning where you're equal into the center. Okay, hands down at the side of you. Connect through the front of the thighs. So a very little connection there, contraction through the thighs. And then you feel the knees uh, stronger. I want you just to not pull up from the joint. Just think about tensing the muscles around the patella. Okay, from this position, just lift the shoulders up, draw back and take them down. And again, so lift, open the chest, pull the shoulder blades and drop. And we're gonna go into our neutral spine. We're gonna find it, and what my neutral spine is different to yours, and what my neutral spine is today was different to yesterday. So what I want us to do is just start by pushing forward and back. So anterior and posterior tilt, yeah? So tilting the pelvis up and back. So think about it as in, as I bring an anterior tilt, I'm in an A position, and then as I push back, I'm in a C position, okay? So we're gonna find our B position. So forward and back, and I'm gonna find it into the middle, yeah? Somewhere into the center. So this is my B position, and think of this as your home. This is where we come back to, yeah, every time. Okay, if you want to, if you're a visual person like myself, just place your thumbs together and your hands, your heels of your hands against your tummy wall, and just press down, yeah? And you should see that your hands are flat against your tummy. And that's another way of, um, of working out if you're actually in a neutral spine. Okay, so thumbs together just at the belly button area, fingertips down, and then you're in a diamond and your hands lay nice and flat. Okay. All right, so from there, just release the hands down at the side. Place your right hand onto your ribs and your left hand onto your tummy wall. Just close your eyes and take some nice deep breaths. And ask yourself this morning, how am I feeling? What's been going on? How does my body respond to my breath? And just take some nice deep breaths in. So you can choose to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, or the mouth, it's up to you. And now I want you to bring your awareness to what's happening under your hands. And it should, your right hand and your left hand should be expanding, yeah, rising as you take the in breath and then pushing back down as you take the out breath. Okay, and then feeling the air going into the side of the ribs and into the back of your body. On your next breath, your ribs will begin to will also continue to move in and out as you breathe, but your hand on your tummy wall, I want it now to stay still. So as you breathe out, so your hand stays lovely and firm against that tummy wall. So there's no belly breathing. So you've got lovely, firm, braced, tight abdominals. Okay. And that's where we're gonna stay with our abdominals braced and tight, firm and powerful throughout the whole of the class. Okay. Release down. Take your shoulders up, squeeze them back and drop them down. Allow your chin just to drop to the chest. Allow in the neck and go back. So allowing the neck to go into flexion and extension. So dropping down and then lifting up. And now bring your head back on the top. So think of it just on top of the horizon. So you're not pushing either side or forward and back. So just level on top of the horizon. I want you just to circle around the right arm. Just stay on the right side. And is there any clicking, any popping? How does that feel? Okay, lovely. Take that arm down and then the other side. So warming up the shoulder joint. And the shoulders are a lot stronger than what we think. Okay, rather a really mobile area of the body, just like the hips. Okay, go back to the right and then go back to the left. Okay, I'm going to change the direction. So go over and come in the other way. Okay, 
and again. So bringing it up and over, just like a front crawl in the swimming pool, and then over. Okay, let's take both arms back. And breathe it in and breathe out. Now bring them up and over. Breathe in and breathe out. And now which way feels better for you? Going back or coming forward? You do what's right for you. You take your arms back and you just continue to take them back or you just continue to bring them forward. Okay, two more. So you choose what's right for you and your body. Okay, lovely. I'm gonna drop my head, neck and shoulders and I'm gonna roll down just as far as the knees. I go into a flat back position, yeah? Pushing back through the glutes, flat back. I'm gonna drop my chin to my chest, going into the cat stretch, flexing the spine, and then come back to flat back. And if you need a little bit more, go into your cow stretch to extend a little bit further. Yeah, and again, so into your cat, back into flat back. And if you need to, go over it a little bit deeper into your cow. Now, drop in your chin, take it up, and then push down to flat back or cow, up to you. So uh, really getting the spine moving right the way through the lumbar, the midsection into thoracic and up into the neck area as well. Up and through. Now as you come into cat, make sure that you're really holding your tummy muscles in. You're not allowing them to relax. Up and through. One more time. Lovely. Up and through. Okay, drop your chin and now roll it up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming up to the top, bringing your shoulders back and down. Let's loosen off the back, take your arms forward, swoop. So swoop forward and extend back, yeah. Really getting the upper part of the back moving. So it, call it what we like, yeah. Like a figure of eight, swoop forward, down and release. And again, forward you go and release. Okay, take the right arm over and reach over, so feeling the stretch into that lateral flexion, side of the back, other side. And again, up and over. So bring the other arm under, yeah? So bringing through your left arm under. So it becomes like a C shape. Yeah. And again, so up and through. Okay, open out your arms, go back into your ripple forward, figure of eight, and open, and again. Round and through and open. Bring the right arm over, left arm under. Bracing those abdominals, don't let them go. Even though we're going through a little sequence, keep them nice and tight, controlling the movement. Open out your arms, palms facing down. Inhale, exhale, and take it round to the right side, to the center, and then over. And again, round we go to the right and then over to the left. Okay, I'm gonna put those three movements together. Open out your palms, ripple forward. One, and release back. And again, lovely release into the back, upper back, okay. Now, as we're gonna come over and under, lovely, feeling it down the side of the back. Now open out your arms, palms down and rotate. So I'm putting those two movements together. I'm gonna break that down in half. Take it over and under, Press down, rotate right. And under. Open out your arms and rotate left. And centre. Draw your arms down. Just pedal push the feet. So lift the right heel and then the left, yeah? So I'm just releasing through the hips, side to side. Okay, now if this feels good, you can come into a cartoon walk, yeah? So I'm just reach and through or you can stay into that pedal push. So I'm releasing the hips, the ankles, yeah, and again, so push forward. Okay, four more. Remember, you can always go back to your pedal push. Three, two, and one. Release it up to the top. Bring your arms forward, frontal raise and lower. So you breathe in, and breathe out. Tilt the pelvis back this time as you come down into a little squat and lift. Now as you squat, I'm going to show you sideways, keep going. The first thing to break are the hips, yeah? So I push back, tilt the pelvis and lift up. Now as I lift up, I slightly tilt my pelvis, tuck the tailbone under 
and again down and lift and again so we go down so push your weight down into the heels come down a little bit lower if you want to okay so weight into the heels squeeze the glutes okay you can do anything you want to with the arms you don't have to stay like this last time and release down okay take your legs up nice and wide we're gonna go into a side lunge so I'm gonna take my body weight over to my right side I'm gonna come across the center of the body and then over to the left and again so over to the right now as I feel the stretch just on the inner thigh of my right leg and then the inner thigh of my left now if this feels where you're not quite in a balanced position and you feel a little bit wobbly, then stay one side a little bit longer. Do what's right for you, yeah? Or you can just come with me and come back and forth. Lovely, four more, four, and three, two, and one. Okay, center through from here. Just take your right shoulder over towards your left knee and then up and over to the other side and again so stretching across again feeling it onto the right into the inner thigh so activation now onto your left side okay bring it to the center Roll it up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming up to the top, take your shoulders back and down. Bring your feet together, circle back your right. Okay, now bring it up and over. And does that feel better? Okay, and then one more. Okay, so go back on the right, and then back on the left. Forward on the right, and forward on the left. Just to play, just to play. Go back on the right, forward left. Do that again, back on right, forward left. And again, two more, don't think about it. And we're gonna change sides. So go back on the left, forward, right. One, it's like a windmill. Two, control those tummy muscles. Three, and four. Okay, guys, lift up, breathe in, lift the shoulders towards the ears, and breathe out. And again, breathing in, and breathing out. Excellent. Okay, stand up nice and tall, shoulders back and down. Let's drop the head, neck and shoulders and roll it down. Okay, walk away from you. So walk away. So if you do yoga, you would know this as the downward facing dog. So keeping the leg, the heels down and push the weight slightly back into the heels. Okay, hold that there. Now you can pedal push, just like we did when we were standing. So pedal push, one, two, releasing through the ankles and the calf muscles. Okay, from here, I'm gonna drop down to my knees. Yeah, so I'm down onto my knees. I'm gonna push my hands away slightly so my hands are under my shoulders and my knees are under my hip bones. Okay, I'm just gonna come around to the front of the camera so you can see me. I'm gonna extend my right arm and my left leg and I'm going to take that down so the spine is long and you are just opposite using opposite arm extending away the next thing I want you to think about is flexing the foot so really getting the gluteal muscles activated as you flex that foot back yeah or if you find that you suffer from cramp then just leave the foot into neutral holding in that tummy wall and again, up and lower, two more, one and two, okay. Guys, bring your feet back in, sit back into your child's pose. So I'll show you sideways. So I'm sitting back on towards my heels, my head is down. Now this is going to be your recovery position. Right? So anytime during the exercises, you feel it's too difficult you come back into your child's pose okay take it up and through take it back to the center knees under hips and hands under the shoulders we're going to go back into our superman but we're going to take the arm out slightly into a diagonal 
So I'm gonna lift up on my right arm and my left leg. I'm gonna open out slightly, hitting the glute in a, with a different reaction. And then the other side, holding those tummy muscles open in and through. Okay, and again, so remember, even though this is a masterclass and I'm rushing through some of the exercises just to show you what Fitness Pilates is all about, you can come back to this recording uh, this live workout and you can use it as many times as you want to come back into your child's pose surface but if you want to take your shoes off that that's absolutely fine you do what's right for you all right so from this position let's take the arms away now take them just on the inside of the thighs just under the thighs sitting up nice and tall Pull in through the belly button, ribs are high, back is nice and long. Inhale, exhale, and take it back just into a little C curve, half roll back, and then lift to the top. And again, so come down into your half curl, and, and then up to the top. And again, round it through, and then up to the top. Remember, the return is as important as the exercise itself. I'm going to sweep away. So now I'm going to take my arms in front of me and I'm going to sweep back. So I'm opening out through the um, external and internal obliques. So what we know as our side muscles, our waist muscles. Yeah, so working the deeper core muscles the, and the surface muscles and the deeper muscles. There we go. And lift. Now if you want to make this a little bit harder, the arm I come back with, I'm going to extend the leg, yeah, to about 45 degrees. And then I lift to the top. As I extend the leg, so I flex the foot. So I engage the front of the thigh, the quadricep muscle, and up. And again, so down and through. And up, last time, down and through and up. Okay, taking your arms down, coming back, seated sit, sit into the front. I want you to take your right leg back and your left leg just underneath you. So I'm into a zigzag position. Okay, in Pilates, we call it the mermaid. It's one of the positions in mermaid. You're gonna place your right hand down and lift over. So there's your lateral side bend, feeling that through the waist and I'm gonna come over to the other side. This time, I'm gonna take my right hand slightly and now I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna sweep around the front of me and then up to the top. Yeah, so I'm coming forward, leaning over my body, round and then up to the top. Yeah, so flow the movement, round, take it up, Squeeze, hold there. If you want to, lift up through the hips. So you're taking your body weight away from the mat, feeling the stretch into the lateral part of your hip and down into your hip flexor. And return. Okay, come back, legs facing forward. So legs nice and long. Lift up, breathe in, fold over your hamstrings, breathe out. Breathe in, take it to the top. Take your right hand down and reach over. And then the other side. Okay. And again, just take that to, the, to your hands to the side of you. Now, let's bring in the other leg. Okay, so we're gonna come round and through. So I'm gonna bring in now my right leg and my left behind. Okay. So I'm going to place down um, my right hand and I'm going to lean over and then I'm going to come through to the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go into my diagonal. So I come behind and I lift over. So I go into my corner and then down to the other side. So my hand comes just behind my foot and I go into the, uh, into the second corner. Okay, now this time I'm going to come round and through, sweep it across and take it up. Sweep it through and take it up. Okay, one more. Sweep through, take it up and lift. 
hold that position. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, guys, take that down. Bring yourself to the side of the into onto your mat where you've got enough room to come back. So again, sit up nice and tall. We're going to do a classical Pilates exercise, the full roll back, yeah, the full roll down and roll up. If you find it's hurting your back in any way, you'll go back to your half roll back, but I'll build it up with you to show you. So arms are facing forward nice and long, shoulders relaxed and down, drawing in through the tummy muscles. Inhale, exhale, and then just take it back and then lift up to the top, yeah? So you can use your breath as well. Inhale, exhale, take it back. Inhale, exhale on the exertion. Yeah, so think about the hard part. You take your breath and you lift up. So we're working, when we do our half roll back, we're working, think of it from belly button down, working through the lower abdominal muscles, one of them being the TVA, the transverse abdominus. I'm gonna take it all the way down onto the mat rolling it down not a thudder vertebrae by vertebrae take it all the way down extend the legs take the arms behind you rainbow the arms around take your head neck and shoulders away from the mat and lift up and come up and lean it over towards your feet and again so I'm going to draw head neck and shoulders vertebrae by vertebrae one at a time, taking it down. Take it down and through, arms above the head, full body stretch, bringing them over in line with the chest. Inhale, exhale, lift up head, neck and shoulders and slowly bring it up and then over. It's a lovely back stretch, one more time. So taking it down, vertebrae by vertebrae, really recruiting every core muscle. And as I said, if you find this too difficult and just not strong enough yet, then just go into your half roll back. Okay, and then come forward. All right, let's take it down. Let's lie down and stay down. Okay, lovely. Take your hands just at the side of your head. Not, um, head is nice and relaxed on the mat. Hand side of the head. And then from there, just bring your head, neck and shoulders up and look down at your feet. Yeah, so look down at your feet. And then, and then lower down vertebrae by vertebrae, head, neck and shoulders down onto the mat. So just tapping into the nervous system. So we come up and then lower down. And do what's right for you in your neutral spine position, yeah? So where we were in that B, it's position in your home position. Okay, lift it up. So bring, in, bring your head, neck and shoulders away from the mat, hold it there and then look down just to one side of you. Again, drawing in, and then over to the other side. And then center. Lovely guys, roll it all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a lovely back release. Release your hands away and take your legs into a tabletop position. So again, it's just like the Superman. Your knees are in line with your hips and your knees are in line with your ankles. So think of it as a 45 degree. If you're never sure, just keep your heels of your hands just there, yeah? So you just know that they're not to come any further. So bring in your arms, lengthen them out, arms along, heel of my hand is just lightly touching the top of um, the bottom of my thigh just above my knee and it is not can't come any further okay if you're happy then just open out your arms to the side of you I want you to tap down on your right foot yeah tap down and then lift back to tabletop so neutral spine remember the home position we're staying here so I'm not bulging my tummy up to the sky I'm staying here nice and flat. So think about, again, bracing the abdominals and belly button down towards the mat. Okay, one more time. Okay, now let's take both feet down. So take them down, tap, and then bring them back to tabletop. Now if this is too much for a double leg tap, you can go back to single, or if you found the single too much, 
you can always go into a single leg tabletop. So you have options. So think about what's right for you. Yeah. Okay, let's do two more. So one and up to the top and one more time. Okay, keeping the legs into tabletop, palms facing down so your arms are open into a T-shape or an aeroplane and just roll the legs over to one side. Now I'm rolling in towards my uh, monitor. I'm keeping my opposite shoulder down. I'm leaving my thighs away from the mat, the floor. Now inhale, exhale up to the top and I'm going to take it over to the other side. And again, up and over, squeeze and down. So you can just keep your head into center position. So by doing our knee rolling exercise, this is still engaging the abdominals, yeah? If we were to place our legs down onto the floor, it would then become a back release. But right now we're still working through those deeper core muscles. up to the top, to tabletop. Okay, from here, just extend the right leg away. Left leg stays in tabletop, bring that in. And then the other side. Extend, so what's happening? Pushing the leg away, I want you to flex the foot and then bring that in. So you're engaging through the front muscle into the thigh, into the quadricep, and you're also extending your hip flexor so the hip flexor, when we do a lot of sitting down, hip flexors here. So when we do a lot of sitting down, they get shorter and shorter, and then they end up pulling on our back. And that's when we suffer with this lower back pain, stiffness. Yeah, open and through. Okay, let's release, let's have a little combination. Take your arms up to the sky. So I'm going to keep doing this now. I'm gonna use my opposite arm. I'm gonna take it back and then to tabletop back and then to tabletop yeah so if you don't like the sequence take your arms down or if you're happy just to work with it with your opposite arm to opposite leg and this is great for the brain this is our brain gym this morning Open through again keeping those tummy muscles tight keeping yourself in that neutral position so the little arch yeah this is where your body is at most comfortable lying down one and then last time okay bring those knees into the chest and just give yourself a knee hug okay, and just come off side to side whatever feels good for you giving yourself a back massage okay. we're going to roll up in a moment to seated if you want to find your own way up that's up to you but when we roll up if you're gonna come with me, try and keep your feet away from the mat and let your core muscles balance you. Okay, keeping it nice and still. Inhale, exhale, and take it up. So feet are away from the mat, core muscles activated, and holding us in this position. Nice and wide. Okay, again, sit it tall. We want to, when we sit in this position, the natural thing to do for our bodies, because they're lazy, all of us, is we just want to slump. So we really need to train the bodies to sit up nice and tall. Open up the arms, palms facing down, and just rotate. Okay. And again, round we go. Okay, this time I'm going to bring my right arm over to my left foot and take my other arm back. Okay, and again, take it, sweep it across the front, and then up and over the other side. And again to the front and over. Last time, center, tall, exhale and over. Okay, bring it in and then bring your arms down in front of you. Walk your hands away and come as low as you can. Yeah, so keeping your head just looking down. Now this, this stretch could be different for all of us. Like my hamstrings are really tight. I feel it into my hamstrings more than my lower back. But so for some of you, it could be a lower back release, a lower back stretch, a little bit of inner thigh. 
just hold that there. Okay, walk the hands back in, seated position, crossing the legs over and in front of you. Okay, placing your hands to, together, just like a prayer position, thumbs on the sternum. Okay, from here, press and now just rotate to your right side. Keeping those glutes down, keeping those bottom muscles firmly on the mat. And again. And we go one side. And hopefully this little workout this morning will set you up for your day. Facing your hand down and reach over. If you're going out, you're doing some gardening, going for a walk, going for a run. Hopefully it just make you feel so much better. I'm positive, these lovely workouts are so great for the mind. Placing your forearm down if you want to and come a little bit further forward. Okay, up and over the other side. So, placing my left hand down and my right arm over. If it's okay, we can come down lower. and then center up to the top. Bringing your hands together, interlink your hands, drop your chin to your chest. So there are so many more exercises to show you, but this is just a taster. And Fitness Pilates is based on the traditional Joseph Pilates exercises, but more of a creative, um, sort of breaking them down and turning them into some sequences, a little bit of choreography. And I always think it's done in a very approachable and fun way. So I really hope you enjoyed that this morning. Placing your hands behind you and open out the chest, lifting through, feeling good, positive and proud and keeping those feelings, optimism and health.